a book directory, a website footer directory, a directory for directories. There are a lot of lists across the internet and directories can be a great way to collect, curate and display lists. And you can create great directories really easily in Webflow. So over the past couple of months, I've been working on a little directory in the background called Local Finds. It's a collection of some of my favorite local businesses since I've moved to Edinburgh. We've got my local cafe, a bunch of great pizza places, and an owl called Hoot the Redeemer. And there's a couple of cool little plugins built into the site, like a map view using Mapbox that you can filter with FinSuite filters open closed or opening soon tags based on the hours that are added to the CMS. A million tags that you can filter down with and on top of all of that, all of the information is being stored within Airtable. So I can easily add and edit listings in bulk and it's connected through to Webflow with Noble. So we have business directories for physical locations like local finds. And then we have digital directories for anything that you might want to curate across the web. You could curate e-commerce sites, agencies, again, even freaking footers if you wanted to. So today we're going to go over some of the core concepts and strategies and ideas for directory websites. We don't have the time to go through every single feature and finish dark zones. So we're just going to do an overview of the top level ideas. So pull up a seat and stick around. So the internet is filled with a whole bunch of different lists. And anytime we create a CMS collection within Webflow, we're creating our own list too. So when we're thinking of a directory, what we're really asking is what lists are we going to make? How are we going to collect and manage those lists? And then how are we going to display that information, combine the info to create content and pages? Let's quickly go to good books for an example. So we have a directory for books recommended by famous people. And so first we think of the lists. We have books, book tags, famous people recommending the books, famous people tags, book series, and articles. Now that's a lot of lists, which is a good thing, because it means with every list we can reference and cross-reference and overlap and create a lot of pages in bulk, which means creating a lot of opportunities to rank in Google. But back to that later, let's start by picking a list and then asking what lists are connected to our list. So my list is restaurant and cafes in my location, which is pretty simple, but then connected to that list, we have a cuisine list, a tags list, a category list, an areas list, and an articles list, and a teams list, but we don't care about that. So now that we've actually decided on our lists, we can decide how we're actually going to collect and store that info. Now we can put everything straight into Webflow. That totally works, but it's a lot of effort to maintain. For example, you have to update CMS items with new information individually rather than in bulk. So to store your info, you can use whatever app you want, but I'm currently using Airtable. As for me, that's the cleanest way to be able to store and update information and see everything in one handy view. But whatever tool you use, ideally you want the ability to connect the tool directly into Webflow. Having to export from the app and import into Webflow every time you want to make an update isn't very realistic. Now, if you're smart, you might be able to find a way to import information from the web directly into Airtable so that you don't have to enter all the information manually. But I'm not smart, so I did enter everything manually. But if you do know a way of scraping this kind of information from the web and bringing it into an app like Airtable, call me. So we have our lists now. And you've probably paused the video for two weeks to go away and collect all the information that you need for your lists. So welcome back. And let's get into how we're actually going to use this information. Every item in our CMS generates a page within Webflow, and every page generated is an opportunity to rank with Google. So here in my project, I have my CMS list of listings, and within each item, we have all of the info for that location. All this is good stuff. And then all of this info is taken, and then a page is generated and changes dynamically based on the content for each item. And we can go into our open graph settings for our listings and add all the normal stuff that you'd want to see when you're searching within Google. So easy, and you know all of this. But now we have an opportunity because our listing, our item, has all of this information connected to it. These locations are all cafes, and we could have set that as a regular text input within the CMS, but we didn't. We made it its own CMS collection. And when we do that, we have a new opportunity for a way to appear on Google. If we go over to our open graph settings, now we're creating a couple of pages, the best cafes in Edinburgh, the best restaurants, the best bars. But now let's go back to our listings and see all of the opportunities that we have to create even more pages. We have a collection for cuisines that we're referencing here, and we have a page created for each one. So now new opportunities to rank in Google. Next, we have tags, and we're looking at tags for food spots, but you can do tags for any kind of website. Website inspiration tags, e-commerce tags, and so on and so on. Next, we have locations, people who are searching for things in a specific country, city, or suburb. And then finally, we have blog posts. And if you look around the web, there are a lot of blog posts that are just lists. So why don't we just generate blog posts by using our CMS and picking items from those lists? 
And so for all of these categories, all of these collections, we're just branching off our main CMS list, one main list of items and tons and tons of opportunities to rank in Google. So this is how we're using the CMS. We're cross-referencing to our heart's content to show up in Google in as many ways that we can. Let's go back to Good Books and remember all of the lists that they have, all of the different ways to rank on Google. So many opportunities to catch the phrases that people are searching for. So that's a way too fast summary on directories within Webflow. And I'm thinking of doing more videos on this specific build. So go and check out the website. And if you have any specific questions, then fire them in the comments. And if you want to play around with the idea of a directory, I have a template for curating website inspiration. And more importantly, I have a version of local finds as a Webflow template. So you can play around with it yourself within Webflow. And if you want some further similar watching, Connor Finlayson does a bunch of content on no code marketplaces. So I'd also recommend his Webflow talk and also Tim Massick's talk on using spreadsheets within the Webflow CMS. So thank you for watching. If you found this helpful in any way, then feel free to leave a like and I'll see you on the next one.